Ooh. That mission's a pain in the ass. Hi there, Ash. Hopefully I didn't go too long without noticing that. They must have locked onto the callous energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades, I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. Look, boys, either of these plans will work. Let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May our doom be with you. Oh, I definitely was focused. Um, it was one of those fucking pre-deployed missions, so I couldn't just build a base, mass, and army and win. I had to very carefully use all of the units I had at my disposal. Uh, retrieve the callous crystal with a probe or drone. Do enough damage to the overbind to send it into remission. Um, this is another double race mission. We love our double race missions. I'm practically going to just ignore the Zerg. This is just going to be way too hard to manage. an assimilator here? No. <coughs> so I get to rely on Zerg for that. Oh, I'll start with one of these guys here.
Okay, time to start making Nexa, or not Nexa, gateways. Uh, I need the cybernetics core because I don't think they gave me one. They did not. Now, because they started out with two bases, I can actually just go right up to five gateways. Overlord. Upgrade complete. I don't get two overlords. And throne. Got our first upgrade. Let's go for armor. Citadel of a dune. Dragoon, 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 dragoon. Dragoon upgrades. Upgrade is going. Now, hatcheries are cheaper than Nexus, so we will use Zerg to build the base down here. objectives just retrieve the crystal with a prober drone or do enough damage to the overmind to send it into remission do i have to bring it anywhere oh complete I guess I gotta be super careful of that. They have lurkers. I think I'm just going to assault the Overmind. I think that's going to be easier. Weapons. 
I'm not getting enough gas for armor yet. I'll definitely need a few Dark Templar. You must construct additional pylons. Okay, Berg's doing their thing. See if we can find another base. Okay, we're good. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Um, this back. ZZ, the Templar, Dragoon, Weapon. Upgrade complete. Back up, back up, now go. Much better. Pylons.
Okay. Now let's go down and see what we can do. Didn't think I'd have to worry about mutalisks. Okay, now that we're finally in an even better position, Stop fucking walking into it. We need it to come out so it can do that and die. Thank you. Is ours. There we go. Depart this wretched world and return to Shakuras. Provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. I'm floating way too many morals. I took too long on that.
And that's okay. The Insurgent. Executor of Citadel at Antioch Shakiris. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Io have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Io and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There is something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May I do forgive us? Uh oh. Be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templar may merge to become Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. Thoughts in chaos! <laughs> Okay, so we just basically need to keep building probes. Yeah, start weapon upgrade. These guys are really cool because they have the mind control ability, which basically allows me to permanently steal one of their units. So if they have a big unit like an Archon or an Ultralisk, it's mine. I get to just yoink it. Which is fantastic. Start building gateways. We're only on one base, so I can only support like one, well, three gateways. Well, I probably could support more because this is a lot of minerals. We'll see. Now I have an Archon.
Oh, I have the Templar Archives. Oh, cool. Drop the forge down. Yeah, I'm gonna just go up to four gateways. My life for eh, five. There we go. Get three more probes to support them. Start making dragoons. We'll need them. Wait for 150 minerals. Bam. Have weapon upgrades going. Yes. 